This is a long way from the YMCA in Flint. Mm. I just wonder what, I mean, the message you have to that kid, did you think this could become this? And does it maybe not feel quite as far? Like, does that still feel like yesterday? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it feels like yesterday. I mean, I, I stayed at the YMCA in Flint uh, all day and night just trying to get to this level. Um, and for me to be here is just, I, I give all the glory to God. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, next question on three in the back row there in the center. Miles, Rob Perez with the Action Network. Uh, the tweet at halftime, what was the thought process <laughs> behind that? Was that, did it play a part in the MVP? And should we allow tweeting during games? Because it surely looks like it works tonight. Uh, no, nah, you, you shouldn't allow tweeting during games. But um, no, nah, they, they, the world team, they're, they're killing us. Um, and we were, we were like, let's play for real. So I just tweeted that just – just trying to be funny, um, and it's ironic that we came out and beat them by 20, but we just, we just want to have fun, man, and compete in the second half. Next question back here on the left on four towards the back row. Hey, Miles. Deanna from WCIU. Quick question. What challenges from the game have you learned to use as assets? Have you learned to grow as a, and become a better player? Um... I just try to soak everything in um, from the older guys on our team, um, like Terry Rozier. Um, we have Marvin Williams. So I, I, I just want to learn as much as I can from those vets. And even me being around LeBron, us being in the same agency, I, I try to learn as much as I can from those guys and, and apply it to my game. Next question here on two in the second row in the center. Just wait for the mic, please. Yep. Dario Cordova from Nacional Rafaga. Did you imagine yourself having this trophy before the game? And how do you feel to hit it right now? Uh, I mean, I, I really just wanted to come out and have fun, um, enjoy the guys, and put on a show for the fans. And yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy I got the MVP. Um, I really thought Eric Pascal or Colin was going to get it because they had more points than me, but uh, I'm happy I got it too. Next question on four in the back row. Just wait for the mic, please. Miles, uh, Joseph Phillips, Chicago Crusader. Was there any motivation to win the MVP playing for Michael Jordan and, and being a part of the Charlotte Hornets? Uh, I mean, us coming from the Charlotte Hornets, we, we, we haven't been having the best season. Um, so we wanted to come out and play hard in the Rising Stars and show what Charlotte is about, um, me, Devontae, and PJ. Um, and I feel like that's what we did. I mean, I didn't, I didn't have any extra motivation, really. I wouldn't say that. Um, but MJ putting Chicago on the map, it, it definitely plays a big part, though. Any other questions? Last one right here on this second row on this side. Rob Schaefer, NBC Sports Chicago. Um, when you hear those words, Chicago basketball, in your experience growing up, what do those words bring to mind for you? Uh, I would say um, tough, gritty, um, play great defense. I mean, I, I grew up watching, I'll say, the Derrick Rose era. Uh, Joakim Noah um, and all those guys, and, and they they were, they hustle for everything that they had. So even even now, when we play Chicago, they're 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 a good defensive team, and that's what I think of when I think of Chicago. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.